Welcome to American Blacksmith and our second video on how to forge 15th century dog armor. I'm going to make a new helmet with this refined pattern and take it over to a swage block and start embossing it. I'm going to start with this metal swage. It's a big white taper to do the embossing and a wooden mallet. I'm hammering this into the final shape and then I started the offsets, the curls here, the edging, and we'll continue on with that. Once I get my rollover, then I want to get an offset around the whole bead here, similar to this test piece. So I'm going to come in here like this. Now, after the rollover and the offset, we're going to have a lot of little marks and bumps, and I'm going to planish the entire edge. And take all these bumps out of it. So here is the new helmet and I need to finish curving it a little bit this way here and then we'll have it about where I want it. All right, this was my test piece for the first breast collar and I made a new pattern because this one ended up being too short. And so I went about tracing paper making a new pattern and transfer the pattern to a final template. So here's the new piece and it'll we'll be able to bend it around. And it'll fit underneath like so. You do these side panels with these grooves in it. I had to rough them out first, but not complete them because then when I went to roll the piece, it would have been too stiff. So I need to finish these panels by refining these grooves. Yeah high carbon steel and then I use my fingers underneath as a guide and a fullering hammer made this stake out of a jackhammer bit In order to punch the holes for the, all the riveting, we're going to use this little set punch here. Here, I think. 
Jackie. In the final assembly video, we're going to do all the riveting and we're attached with the leather straps and make a permanent collar and then trim back all the chain mail and assemble it to the armor plates. In order to make the model, we started out with a very large piece of cottonwood, which is uh, locally found. We profiled it, and then we sketched out the dog, and we took and carved it to shape. And then I spent several hours sanding it down, went ahead and made a sturdy base for it so I could keep it in place. What I did was made some pins. I was very careful to measure this correctly, not to his exact body size, but the fact that there's going to be what they call a gavison, which is this liner, this padding. So I made the dog slightly larger so that the armor will fit properly.